Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today we wrap up our series on Dominaria United as well as Rakdos Week. We may do a few more in the future, but look forward to cards from other sets next week. Before we ended the series though, I wanted to build a deck around Garna, Blood Fist of Keld. Before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. I've been very happy with the growth this channel has had so far, and I'm excited to see where we're going. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications, and even do a deck video on it. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Garna, Blood Fist of Keld is a 4-mana, four 4-3 four, legendary human berserker with an interesting triggered ability. Whenever another creature we control dies, we draw a card if it was attacking. If it died and it wasn't attacking, instead, Garna deals 1 damage to each opponent. Okay, so this is going to be another Aristocrat Commander, right? If we look over on EDH Rec, most of the deck lists for Garna are Aristocrat decks. But I wanted to go a different route. I also wanted to see how cheap I could build the deck without sacrificing some key cards that help make the deck just that much better, and wound up at around $70. But before we get into this deck list, we should keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, 1 sudden I win card. I thought that self-sacrificing hasty creatures would be hilarious in this deck. So we're building Ball Lightning Tribal. To start, we've got the original Ball Lightning, Tilanali Summoner, Lightning Skelemental, Arc Runner, Blistering Firecat, Thatcher Revolt, Lightning Serpent, Hellspark Elemental, Impetuous Devils, Skizix, Ride of the Raging Storm, Chandra, Acolyte of Flame, and Lagmost, Hand of Hatred. Since most of our creatures are self-sacrificing, I included a Mayhem Devil for extra damage. Impact Tremors, also for extra damage. But since the point of our deck is to swing out with creatures and deal as much damage as possible, I included Carter, Doom Scourge, and Hell Rider. Finally, an Amorstorm Predator for Graveyard Hate, and a Cult Conscript, so that we always have a creature we can bring back as needed. Speaking of Graveyard Recursion, we're also running Balduvian Atrocity, Unearth, Victimize, Macabre Mockery, and Underworld Breach. I also felt that Rise of the Dreadmarn fit very well in this deck. Having all of our creatures die in combat, draw a bunch of guards, then pop this off and have a board full of zombies? Sounds great to me. For interaction, we're running Feed the Swarm, Chaos Warp, Rakdos Charm, the Devil, Terminate, Abrade, Tragic Slip, Keldon Twilight, Baleful Mastery, The Eldest Reborn, and Angraph, The Flame Chained. Since we're sacrificing a ton of creatures at our end step anyway, I've also included a Braid's Arisen Nightmare. For board wipes, we've got Hour of Devastation and Magma Quake. To dig through our deck, we're running Village Rites. Deadly Dispute, Knight's Whisper, Sign in Blood, Thrill of Possibility, Body Count, Seize the Spoils, Warhost's Frenzy, Siphon Mind, and Unexpected Windfall. In order to cast all of our spells, we've got Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Fire Diamond, Charcoal Diamond, Rakdos Signet, Decanter of Endless Water, Mindstone, and Felwarstone as Mana Rocks, Wayfarer's Bauble, Burnished Heart, and Solemn Simulacrum all fetch us additional lands, while Professional Facebreaker and Mahadi Emporium Master both help us generate treasures. Our lands consist of Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Cinder Barrens, Tainted Peak, Dragon Skull Summit, Sulphurous Mire, Smoldering Marsh, Temple of Malice, Dross Forge Bridge, Rakdos Guildgate, Bloodfell Caves, Geothermal Bog, Bajuka Bog, Myriad Landscape for additional ramp, Evolving Wilds and Terramorphic Expanse for color fixing, 
eight swamps, and 13 mountains. So let's take a look at our deck and see how we did. 50 mana sources split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, right on target. 10 pieces of card advantage, 10 pieces of spot removal, two board wipes, three pieces of graveyard hate, and one sudden I win card in Underworld Breach. Underworld Breach is the most expensive card in our deck, but also one of the most powerful. With it, we can recast all of our dead creatures and smash our opponents. Then, when our creatures die, Garno will deal a ton of damage to all of our opponents. Either that or we'll draw a ton of cards. We might not win the game off of Underworld Breach by itself, but if played at the right time, we'll push our advantage to the point that victory is all but inevitable. Now, as far as upgrades are concerned, I'd highly recommend a Reliquary Tower and maybe a Talisman of Indulgence. Liliana Dreadhorde General would also be awesome in this deck. Now, some of you are probably asking why I didn't include a Chandra Flame Color. I was thinking about it, but our commander triggers off death triggers, not exile triggers. Feel free to add her if you want. Having the ability to wheel away your hand each turn can be powerful in the right deck. If your version of Garna Bloodfist has more focus on graveyard recursion, Chandra Flame Caller is a great card for you. Liliana Death's Majesty is another card that has great synergy with that plan. But honestly, there's not much about this deck that I would change. I really love it as is. I've been wanting to build a Ball Lightning Tribal deck for a long time, and I think Garna Bloodfist of Keld is the perfect commander for a deck like this. How are you building Garna? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, there's a link to her Fiverr page below. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Jiraiya, Waffles, Muffins, Casey, Danny, Nick, Marcus, Black Dragon, and Phoenix of Ice. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or you can click here to watch additional videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Danan. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danan.